Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are at my vanity today and uh, we are going to be filming my first shop my stash for the year of 2021. So in case you're new to my channel, I used to do a lot of these videos and you guys have been requesting them so I'm gonna get back to them this year for sure. Okay, so these are the products, in case you're new here, are the products which belong to my everyday drawer, which is over here. And this doesn't change as much as my palettes and stuff. I still kind of want to show you guys what I have in here, just because I have changed it up a little bit. Okay, so this is the primer that I've been using, and this is the Pore Blur by Revolution. Then I also have Protect Plus Tint Tinted Moisturizer by Neutrogena. Really good one for the summertime. And then I also have this Illuminating Face Primer, or sorry, Hydrating Face Primer by e.l.f. Don't think I'm going to change that. I do go back and forth between my LA Girl Pro Concealer and also my ColourPop. Is it ColourPop? No, it's e.l.f. My e.l.f. Concealer. Just because this one is more of a lighter shade and I like to wear this when I have a full face of foundation. But the LA Color one is the exact shade match and I wear it for those days where I'm not really doing like a full face of makeup and I'm going out of the house and I'm going to events where I'm going to be wearing like masks. Yeah, those are some products. This really has not changed very much so I'm not gonna go in too much detail. This is something new in my, you know, mascara section but honestly, I don't really like it that much. So those are just some newer items that I've added. Probably not going to change. I do want to change the highlighter and I do want to change the blush. So we're going to go through this um, part of the vanity and then obviously my eyeshadow palettes. Okay guys, so this is where I store most of my makeup just in case you are new here. So I do want a newer highlighter and also a blush because I have been using those two for a really long time and I just need a change so let's see what we have here a couple from elf then we also have this one by a brand called Kai which I did find or K I did find this one at Target I believe I have not used this one for a while so maybe I'll go with this one because it is like a baked bronzer. Yeah, it's more baked. So I'm going to try this one this time. And then when it comes to blushes, I don't know if I want a blush palette or just a regular blush. I think this time of the year, I do want to work on panning a little bit. Which one is this? I don't even remember this one, you guys. There's so many blushes over here. Oh, this is a pretty shade. I have not worn like a pink shade in a really long time. I've been wearing like orange. And I believe this is also from e.l.f. in the shade Wanderlust. So I got this one a while ago and this is like their mineral line. I don't even know if they make that anymore. So. Those are the two things that I will be using. I think I might want to switch out my eyeshadow primer as well. And this is something I purchased right before I left for India. But yeah, I haven't really used it that much in the US at least. So I want to go back to using it. I do like it. So I'm going to swap that out for my I Love Stage eyeshadow primer. I might want to take some single eyeshadows from here as well. Hmm, I don't know. Having a hard time, as you can tell. You know what? I have not used these stick eyeshadows in a very long time. So I think I'm going to use at least one. 
and this is by LA Colors. It's their jumbo eye pencil. So I do want to use more stick shadows and I do like that color for summertime, although you can wear it any time of the year. But I think that's what I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to leave it at that, just picking those items. And let's move on to the eyeshadow palettes. Okay guys, just in case you were wondering, I had been using the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette the past month. I did really enjoy this palette, but I just need to use something else now. And also the Aphrodite palette by Bad Habit. This one I think is, yeah, it's definitely like this continued and I've hit pan on two of the shades. So I really enjoyed using this, you know, this past May. And also my contour palette by Beauty Creations or Beauty Concepts. And this is in Sweet Treats. I did enjoy this, but it's just time for me to use something else. I have been using it pretty consistently, I would say. As you can see, you know, the panning, but... Yeah, I think it's time to switch these out. I'm looking at this eyeshadow section. I've been using eyeshadows from like, you know, the dresser. <laughs> like I have some eyeshadows stored at the dresser as well. But I think I want to use more of a smaller palette this time. I really don't think I have used the Wet n Wilds. I think Pretty as a Peach, no. Pretty as a Peach is from Bath and Body Works, not a basic peach. I really have not used this and this is definitely more of a summer slash spring eyeshadow palette. So I definitely want to use that one. Mm, now I want something which is not Wet n Wild. So let's see what we have here. Which one is this? I don't I don't even remember this palette, you guys. Yeah, I don't remember this. Do we have more Revolution palettes here? Yeah, quite a decent amount. But I don't want something like orangey. Hmm. Don't think I've even touched this one, you guys. Yeah, I have definitely not touched it. So, I'm gonna give I Am A Beauty Boss by Ulta Beauty a shot as well. And um, this one, which is not a basic peach. Those two are the palettes that I will be using. And I do see a contour palette here as well, which I do wanna switch out. This is actually from BH Cosmetics. It's the it's my Ray Ray palette. It's my Ray Ray. I used to watch her so much. I feel like her content recently has changed a little bit, so I haven't really been watching her as much. But I do want to use the contour palette because I have not touched this in a really, really long time. And I do really like this contour portion. It's actually like an eyeshadow palette as well. But um, yeah, I'm not going to use the eyeshadows, but I'm going to use the contour. So we have those palettes. And I do want to pick some new nail polishes as well. So all of my spring and summer nail polishes are stored over here. So I'm going to bring that up here so we can go through it. Let me just put some of these items back, which I don't really need anymore. So this can go back. So we have my nail polishes here. Currently, it, just in case you guys are wondering, I am using this top coat. This is my Holy Grail top coat. That's not gonna change. These two are the nail polishes that I am wearing at the moment. I know my nails are chipped, but I love them. I love Kiss Gel nail polishes. Okay guys, so I do wanna pick four nail polishes for this month because I like to change my nails every week or so. So let's see what we have. I did purchase some new things. So I'm definitely, you know, wanting to try them out i already like wore this color earlier in may so i'm probably not going to pick that one i think this is a really pretty color it's a nice like really light pink color i do want to give that one a shot so that's one do want to wear this bright red color as well hmm i think i might 
want to pick up like a neutral one as well i do like this one this is like a sparkly neutral one i think i've had this for a while and i do want to use that one quite a lot so that's going to be the third one and then the fourth one i think i'm going to go with the sinful shine in this really pretty green color so i do want like an accent nail or something because sometimes like i like to do different designs so i think i'm going to pick this pure ice one like this really pretty rose goldish shimmer color i guess you could say but yeah i think i'm gonna pick that five nail polishes for the month of june excited to use them rotate them and yeah the top coat is not gonna change obviously as you can see i've used a lot of it but i really really like that top coat really like this brand as well so i'm excited to use these nail polishes going on to lipstick you guys i really have not to be honest rotating as much as i would like to because of the mask situation so these are all my neutral lipstick in case you guys are wondering and i'm just confused i don't know there's so many to pick from so i think i'm gonna go with this milani one the amour matte lipstick and this is in the shade loved don't know if it's gonna focus but it's in the shade love is that bad that i want to pick one neutral lipstick no i think i should pick at least two or something because i have so many lipsticks you guys so i really need to pick two so i'm gonna pick one regular and one liquid lipstick and this regular one is by nyx it's in the shade euro trash do i even like this shade it's a really pretty nude color i'm gonna try to use it if i don't like it i'm probably going to declutter it and yeah unfortunately sometimes you just have to declutter makeup but that is it for the neutral lipsticks and then the more colorful side you know this one and then that one I do think I want more liquid lipsticks, guys, because it's summertime and it just gets so hot. You know how it goes with the masks as well. So, yeah, I do want a brighter shade liquid lipstick. Maybe a red. I don't see the red. Where did the red go? I think the red's down here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one from NYX as well. Do we have more colors down here? I don't have a lot of like um, summer type of lipstick, you guys. I have like decluttered a lot of them. I never filmed the video, but I did declutter like a decent amount of them. So yeah, this one is in Monte Carlo by NYX and this is by Wet n Wild. And the shade is very recognized. So, four lipsticks in total. Excited for it. Um, hopefully, I can pan them in the future. But yeah, that is it for lipstick. Okay, guys, just a brief overview of the products that I picked for this Shop My Stash. Like I said, this is not going to change much. But I still wanted to share with you guys the face products that I was using. But yeah, two eyeshadows, one contour palette, one blush, one highlighter, four or five nail polishes, four lipsticks, one stick eyeshadow, and one primer, and obviously my everyday stuff that I use. So I hope you guys like this video. I am excited to use these products, which, you know, I didn't even realize I had like this palette like I didn't even realize but thank you so much you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one bye now